Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 39. Today we are starting off with Challenger 2 and this is made by Ghostbuzzer7. And this is meant to be a tank. I have not tried it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be good fun. Let's take a look at the action group, see if there's anything set. So that's for breaks. I'm not going to remember that. Anything else? Alright, so it looks like they're just going to go through staging. It's a nice looking tank, very detailed. Take a look under the hood. Let's see. What are these? Charge of a battery, look how they've been placed. That looks awesome. It's a nice design. And what are these? Wheels, why are they angled like that? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, is this meant to be able to move? Oh, so this top part here, where that moves, I think. Let's see. I'm gonna space bar, I guess. Oh, that did something. Oh, this whole top moves. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, that's awesome. It's moving. <laughs> I haven't. I don't think anyone submitted anything like this before. Oh, oh no. It's weird. It's barely moving. Wow. This is cool. The controls are a bit weird. But I'm working through it. So let's see. Oh, wait, aim. Steady. Wait, let's just... Wait, action groups, will that help? <laughs> wait, SAS. Any, wait, no, one number one for brakes. But I'm obviously I'm not controlling any wheels at the moment because I'm just controlling the top part. Uh huh. So I, I just want to fire this. <laughs> was that meant to happen? That was that was scary. Whoa! It is powerful. Right. What does spacebar again do? Um. That did something. So confused. Wait. So this top section is now. Wait. Is this, is this, this is also connected, but it, okay, it moves by itself. Kind of. This is scary. Did that work? Everything's just shaking so much. Whoa. Whoa. The power. The power. <laughs> oh no, we're getting some terrible frames right now. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Damn game. Please optimize. Bang. Wow, okay, that that was a very interesting tank. I have to admit, it's the best tank I've seen uh, by far. Um, although it's in a bit of competition with uh, Vaos, because Vaos makes heaps of tanks. <laughs> He's made, I think, the Hellfire, I think that was the name. But yeah, the fact that this top part is adjustable, that is cool. Very, very cool. Look at that. Wait, wait. Look at that rotate. And now spacebar. <laughs> I like how everything just smashes. Oh, that's funny. I just had that ass. Wait, so this, what happens if we, no, that, that, that's definitely separate. Okay, then this is, okay, that's wrong, wait. Wait, okay, here we go. Oh, it's fallen off. Yeah, that's not meant to happen. You get the point. And everything explodes. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm liking the design. Well done, Ghost Buzzer. 10 out of 10. All right, let's go to uh, another design. By This time by Deathray92. I'm actually going to show off the rest of his designs because he submitted, he submitted so many good ones. Let's start off with well, whatever's first in line, I guess. Oh, load. All right, we have the Jet Fighter. I think this is a simple type of design. It, look, it looks good. I won't test this one. Uh, you guys know that it will probably work. This is meant to be some type of VTOL, so I'm, I'm going to test this because these are the type of designs that I'm just curious about. Here we go. So number one, full throttle. Let's see if this works out. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wait. Wow. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Number one. Turn off. Whoa, whoa, this is so cool. 
It's amazing. Screenshot. Screenshot. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that worked out. These engines are so powerful. We are going to land. Mazel tov V engines here. Don't worry, we're not gonna crash. Okay, we're gonna crash. <laughs> Whoops! The patch? No! Alright, we get the point there. Let's go to the next design. It's a quick way of showing the designs. <laughs> so it's a good design here. Uh, obviously, you can fix the pitch if you want. Add a few control surfaces somewhere. That's what we use the passenger plane. Oh, this is a big boy. Here we go. Here we go. I like, I did look at this before. And the first thing I pointed out was that the wings are actually, I like the texture. They're all separate wings, but the way it, it works out with the texture, I, I just like personally. It just makes it look cooler. Yeah, that's the passenger plane. Then we've got the ship fueler. This is interesting. So this is meant to be some sort of truck with, it's got mining gear. And I think it would work, but only for a short duration because it doesn't appear any, it doesn't appear that there's any power, not at the power of the drills or the converter here for long enough to actually make any fuel. Um, even we even have wheels here which require power so we're gonna be short on power for sure <laughs> there's a bit here some generators but I don't think that's gonna be enough personally take a look on the inside yeah that's all there is yeah it's it's gonna be slow going if you're gonna use this but maybe add some solar panels somewhere and it should be alright after that. So that's a ship fueler. And we have the small VTOL Mark II. This is indeed a small VTOL. Interesting looking, definitely. These are basic jet engines, right? No, nope, they're not. They look like them. Hmm, interesting. That's small VTOL. Too many designs? Speed plane. I'm assuming this is super fast. Very nice. Tiny Mark 1. This is indeed tiny. Not the tiniest though, but definitely tiny. <laughs> then we got the Titan. Oh, this is another big boy. Very big. Uh, let's see. So we got the passenger modules we got two of them and then we have something here some sort of little rover oh it's a manned rover so let's see you would get the the kerbals will be in here you would take a kerbal out and let him ride on this and then you can travel around wherever you want very slowly there you got the drills which suppose it worked. Do we have any power generation anywhere? I suppose that the, the uh, jet engines will generate power. Maybe. I'm not sure if these ones specifically do. So we've got room for kerbals on the inside. It's a lot of room, actually. We've got ladders to get up. Nice. This is very detailed. Very, very detailed. I just want to zoom in onto this part here. So we've got storage tanks for mining oh here we go generators some generators here and yeah so this is pretty detailed I didn't think it was this detailed when I looked it up before I should probably try this but we'll go to the uh, Virgin Galactic because this is what I want to see this is what I want to test out all right so any action groups no it doesn't appear it looks like staging has been done Okay, so, launch. We made this Virgin Galactic thing very old, early on in the channel. When we didn't have that many parts, but it seemed to work from when we made it. We have all these engines. We have, what else, sister couples. That's the engine there. That's a that's a rocket engine. Yep. Then, what, what are the couples there? 
Does that the couple of wings or something? I don't... Oh, the fuel tanks. Oh, right. Okay, I, I didn't see them before. And then we got a basic... Is that a basic jet engine? There's like two engines inside of each other. It's another rocket engine. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. So, let's test it out. These designs, they all have secret things inside them. Oh, we might, we might have to do it. I like the lights. Whoa, whoa, that's not good. That's not good. There's so much left. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Oh. That's a bad start. Alright, steady. Steady. Okay. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. Not very bad. What did we lose? We lost a uh, rocket engine, I think. Oh no. No? <laughs> I might have to look at the instructions. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. What? Oh. Okay, it's stable! Whew. So this should be able to get an orbit if we can get high enough in altitude. That's an F. Alright. Track the wheels. So what I think I'm gonna do is we'll see how high we can get with just these jet engines alone. And, or, or maybe, if this whole thing just starts to spin out, we'll just quickly decouple the, uh, the central part, central part here. And hopefully we'll be alright. We're gonna have some serious overheating, actually. I just sort of that. Overheating, not good. That, that's a very cool. That looks awesome. Oh, okay, we might have to decouple now, I guess. Alright, we're gonna do it. Wait, we're gonna decouple that and then turn on the engine. Got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's amazing! <laughs> oh, turn on the engine quick. That was cool. Whoa, and it just completely breaks. Oh, it wasn't meant to do that. It wasn't really stable enough though. It was just held by a few wings. So, how are we doing here? Pretty well. Just gonna leave it at that. I don't think I've used this engine before. Oh no, I guess we have. Oh, really? What happened? Fuel ran out. Wait, what? That's not good. Um... Wait, is this the fuel that we just used up? No. What happened? Um, wait, let's turn on this engine. There we go. Alright, the atomic rocket motor utilizes only liquid fuel. It doesn't use oxidizer anymore. That's what we got there. This is meant to get rid of... Let's get rid of those, because we don't need them. Oh, be careful. Be, be careful. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Appreciate you moving like that. Thank you. That's not good. Do we have any RCS? No, this is a problem. Major problem. Oh, no. No, it's rot- Why are you rotating? No, we have- Are we falling? No, nope, not yet. Okay, come on. We're not time warping, so- Wait, okay, now we should- Come on. Hmm. We are accelerating, at least. There. Oh yeah. Okay, please make it. Do we seriously? Okay, we're good. We 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 good. Yeah. I think the issue we had was that the fuel tanks before. Uh, I don't think they were. Do we? I don't think we used up the oxidizer in the fuel tanks before. So because the fuel ducts aren't actually properly connected to this engine here wait yeah the, the big engine there uh we had to sort of decouple them because they were useless but with this atomic rocket motor we have no power so because of that we aren't able to get into orbit although this is meant to be a suborbital plane isn't it from memory i think it's suborbital yeah I think. Anyway. Well, that was fun. Uh, we had a bit of explosions. Well, no, that's freaky. 
Uh. <laughs> I guess no explosion. Wow, his body's not doing too well. Not doing well at all. But he will survive this crash landing. Come on, you can do this. Yeah. No, he died. <laughs> I'd like to thank the subscribers for their fantastic submissions. Uh, this week's submissions were actually pretty darn good. So again, I'd like to thank GhostBuzzer7 for the Challenger 2 and Deathray92 for all. a lot of designs. You can see here. So thank you guys and see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.